To look at something here. We continue to get more video and pictures into our newsroom from the front lines of the Beachy Creek and Lion's Head fires. And we're also hearing from two firefighters, a man and a woman who braved those fires. Jenny Young, live tonight, sharing their stories with us. Jenny? You know, Jeff, these two people that we talked to, they could not be more different. But what they share in common. They both sacrificed time away from their families and did backbreaking work to protect Oregonians. This is my form of serving my country by serving the land that protects us locals. This is video of some of the backburning Jacob Kuhnhausen and his crew did on the Lion's Head fire. Hot, long days, you know, dirty, dusty roads, smoke in the face, fire on her, you know. On our heels. He's been leading a group of 20 of the hundreds of wildland firefighters who've been working almost around the clock to contain the flames burning on the east end of the Santium Canyon. We were very fearful of the Beachy Creek fire and the Lion's Head fire talking to each other. In all his years fighting wildfire, he says he'll never forget what they experienced on Labor Day. We've never seen consecutive 30 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 40 plus miles an hour throughout the night. Because at that point, spotting could happen up to five miles away. It's like we try to track the fire in a sense, but it's coming right at you. You can see it. Alicia De Lanoy is a volunteer firefighter in Harrisburg. She has a full time job, but was called in to help fight the Beachy Creek fire during those devastating Labor Day winds. Trees are falling. You can hear all the trees falling. You can see the fire just consume the whole area. It's very scary at times, you know, because I have five kids. She says the first few days were spent evacuating people. It can be overwhelming sometimes you know you just your blood's pumping and you just you're moving fast just trying to pull everybody out that you can she's home tonight after nearly two weeks on the fire lines this is a picture of her on one of those lines tasked with making sure those flames didn't jump Okay, so Mr. Kuhnhausen says that they need more firefighters. That's something we have been hearing for several weeks now. Says that on Monday they do have a training for new firefighters. Says they never train this late in the season, but that's how desperate they are. If they do have some room open. If you want to be a part of that, if you're interested in this, we have posted uh, that company's information on our website. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Queen 6 News.